as a young woman, this idea of being men and women for others, that was something that always like impelled me. You're called where your deepest passion meets the world's deepest hunger. And it's funny because when I was little, there was kind of like this mystique about sisters, you know, but now I'm a sister. Like, gee whiz, I'm just as human now as I was seven years ago. In our school, we had religious sisters and brothers that actually taught us. So we had a lot of experience or exposure to people who were living out, you know, their lives in service of God. Um, and I think that that really inspired me. Experience bears fruit. And I mean, here at Our Lady of the Angels, I mean, I'm cooking almost every day, if not for eight people, for 200 people. So we want to share our love and our faith and be able to be among the people that we care for and serve in that way, to me, is the most powerful way that we can share the love that we've been given by God. Food pantry every Tuesday. You know, I'm down there helping to give out groceries and things of that nature. We were contacted by the Food Network because they were trying to cast Religious Sisters to be on this show, Chopped, which is a cooking competition. And so I was cast very quickly. It wasn't about me becoming famous, but about how can I use that platform that I've been offered to raise awareness about this epic crisis of hunger in our country and how each of us can help respond to that. Many of the things that I'm able to do now to help serve the church and spread this message are connected to experiences I had as a student. Um, so I'm just really grateful for the way that Loyola has fostered community for the students and encouraged us really to try to do extraordinary things. Um, it's really fun.